Now, let me welcome on to the field of 68, none other than Villanova head coach Kyle Neptune. Kyle, Big East Media Day, man. It's your second go round. How you feeling? Sophomore year. Sophomore year. <laughs> Yo, exactly. Exactly. Right. Okay. I agree with that. They also say it's your biggest jump okay. from your freshman, right? Yeah, from your freshman to your sophomore 100%. year. We, I was, uh, we had our uh, hoops mania. It's like our, our spin on Midnight Madness. And I was, uh, I went out to like hype up the crowd. And uh, when I got to sophomores, I was like, hey, I'm a sophomore. I'm a sophomore <laughs> with you guys. So, you are, but you're not because you had a year at Fordham beforehand. Right, right, right. So um, last year was, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to describe last year for you guys. I, I just felt like you never got a fair shake because of what you went in with, the injuries, uh, point guard situation. You finally kind of found your footing at the end of the year, and you probably wish you had about another 15 games with that group. Uh, definitely, I think we, we would have loved to have another five, six games for sure. Um, but, and, you know, every year is a learning lesson. I wouldn't trade that year for anything. I thought it was great for um, the guys that are coming back just to have go through uh, adverse times. Um, and, and sometimes that's that's the best thing for, for teams to go through something together and then come out the other side. Justin Moore, coming off the Achilles last season, you got him back for, I believe it was 13 games, and he never really looked like, the Justin Moore that we know and love, right? What have you seen from him this offseason? Where has that progression been? Is he getting that explosiveness back? Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, he was never more than 70%. It was kind of miraculous that he ever even came back. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he was itching to just come back and um, just be there for his teammates. Uh, so, it, uh, like, hats off to him. In this day and age, many people, well, a lot of people just shut it down. So for him to come back, that was a big jump for us. And now uh, having a full season to recover, full off season, to say, to recover, um, I think he's back to close to 100%. He's been a great leader for us so far. What does it say about him that he decided to play last year? Because, look, transfer portal era, NIL, I mean, he there were millions of options on the table for him, literally. What does it say about him that he not only came back, that he played, that he played for his teammates, that he played for Villanova? I mean, he, first of all, he's a warrior. Um, he's a warrior, and, and that's, again, so rare in this day and age with, with guys sitting out and resting and all that stuff. Um, he was legitimately just itching to compete with his his brothers, right? And he, he wanted to do it for them. And then him uh, making the decision to come back and still be here, as again, as an old old head now in college basketball, <laughs> um, you know, it couldn't say much enough about his character. Um, we're really excited for this year with him being our leader. How are you going to use him this year? You know, because he can play on the ball, he can play off the ball. How do you envision you have a different team? We'll get into that in a minute with, with a lot of new guys coming in, older dudes. How do you envision use, using him this year? It's it's interesting when you start to break down his game offensively and you're like, all right, who's the best guy making decisions? You're like, all right, Justin Moore. <laughs> yep. And you're like, all right, who's our best post-up guy? It's like, uh, all right, Justin Moore. And it's like, all right, who's the best guy coming off ball screens? Uh, Justin, Justin Moore. Moore. That's right. Right? So, like, he does so many things yes. for you offensively. But then the unique piece is when you start to think, all right, who do you trust to guard the best uh, guy on the other team? You're like, Justin Moore. <laughs> who's going to know the scout report the best? Justin Moore. <laughs> all right, who's the guy who can guard the post, guard outside, inside? Who's, like, yeah. Justin Moore. So you asked how we're going to play him. We're going to try to put him out there in as many positions it's just as Justin possible. Moore, nobody else. Offensively, <laughs> defensively. I mean, he does everything. Yeah. I want to ask you about Eric Dixon. I think Eric Dixon is one of like my 10 favorite players in college basketball because you look at this dude, he's what, like six, seven, <laughs> yeah. probably. He would, he would, he would say six, eight. <laughs> he, he would say he'd six, fight eight. for that. Yeah, yeah. He would uh, fight okay. for that. Inch. He's. I, I I'm not going to fight him, so I'm going to give him 6'8". I, I told you this over the summer. He has calves yeah. the size of Christmas yeah. hams, right? Yeah. But you ran him out there like you're running off of pin downs. He's a three-point shooter. Like, he is – I don't know if there's many players as unique as him in college basketball. Just how much how much fun is it to, to coach this dude? Well, first of all, I have a unique uh, relationship with Eric Dix. I've known him since he was like 16 years old. Oh, really? um, we recruited him. Um, he's a local guy, so we knew him for a long time. Known his family for a long time. And watching his progress from – uh, high school and uh, being like a normal center um, to now where he's just a 100% versatile basketball player. Um, that transformation with his body, his game, his energy level, what he can do now defensively, offensively. I mean, it's just a miraculous turnaround. 
Um, couldn't be more excited to see uh, how, how things unfold this year for him. He's one of those guys that you just root for because um, you know he's such a good dude um, and he comes from such a good family. Uh, he's a guy you generally root for. He's a left tackle with a lefty stroke. Yeah. Yeah. We just talked about this that, morning. We, we get like multiple emails a year like saying, hey, really? would uh, Eric Dixon want to play football? NFL guys. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Um, yeah, he's still really got a future. About, he'll play, he'll he'll make a no, lot of no. money playing hoop. He'll he'll, yes. he'll be a hooper. He'll yes. be a hooper. You'll see this year. He's um, his game is really expanded, a, um, yeah. especially on the defensive end. His <laughs> energy levels. How much more get? Like you it's expanded every year. Yeah. Him off of uh, downs. He wasn't shooting the ball like that last year. Right. He's like this is one thing he can step out now. Yeah, he he yeah. steps out. He shoots. It. He's one of the hardest workers we've ever had at Villanova. He's always in the gym. Um, you know, there's times I come in late. I'll forget something in the office. I'll come in one, two a.m. He's in there shooting. Um, come in early in the morning. He's in there shooting. Um, he's changed his diet. He's changed his like he legitimately changed his game. He was a 100 percent back to the basket guy. Shot a little bit as a freshman, but really truly a back to the basket guy. Now he's so versatile. I mean. You know, uh, there's not enough good things you can Villanova say. Villanova basketball is where Justin Moore posts up and you're six foot eight, two hundred sixty pounds. <laughs> right. There's the floor spacer. Yeah. Exactly. I love it, man. All right, so before you, when you were Fordham, Jay was kind of like not anti portal, but kind of anti portal. You've leaned completely into the portal now. You have to. Let's face it. You have to. Um, what did you have conversations with, with Jay at all about that when you were going to go heavy in? Well, I mean, I think that you know, he, we didn't. There was no transfer portal, right? It wasn't. At least it wasn't where it is today. Um, you know, it was like the first year that it had opened up where guys were allowed to play right away, etc. So it, it was a just a different time. And um, as we go here, I think everyone's kind of refining their new strategy based off of today with NIL with the transfer portal. It, it's a, just a completely different time in recruiting. I think if you talk to everyone, it's crazy though, like, the two years, think about it. You were there two years ago, yeah. you come back and it's a totally different landscape. It's completely different and it's, and it's everyone. Uh, I don't think anyone can say, hey, listen, we know exactly how this is going. Right. We can do the, exactly the same yeah. thing. I just don't think that's uh, realistic yeah. today. So for us, we, we don't really don't want to change much. We, like me as a, a coach, I came up under coach right um literally half of my brain is like like just was wired here yeah. at villanova so i don't really know anything different i would like to say that if he was in the same spot with uh the cards that were dealt to us i think yeah. he would do make similar decisions so um you know it's just a, a different time and day in college basketball and we, we're, we're gonna adjust and um do whatever we have to do to make villanova the best it can be at the time when we're making our decisions the process of integrating those transfers into what you guys do. It, when when Jay was here and you guys had this thing really rolling, you know, it was a year or two, sometimes three, sometimes you needed a red shirt. Now it's like you get a summer. How has that adjustment process been? Getting, I mean, look, you got you got four of the best transfers. You might have the best transfer yeah. class in the country. How have you gotten those guys ready to play the way that you want to play? Well, I mean, I think it all starts in recruiting um, and the conversations you have on the front end. Um, and uh, we had some tough conversations on the front end and what the expectations were and what we could provide here and how we can help them get better uh, in their careers. So um, I think with all the guys that we were, were lucky enough to recruit, I think it was a match made on heaven. And this is an important piece on both sides yeah. um, and have being equally yoked uh, as you, as you move forward. So um, those guys knew what we expected. Um, I think we, we have some things to deliver on with them and helping them get better. Um, and they've 100% delivered thus far in terms of being all into what we're doing. Do you feel any pressure this year coming in? I mean, it's Villanova, yeah. right? It's Villanova. You're coming off again a year where I think most of us are giving you a mulligan. I don't know if you want it or not, but we're giving it to you, obviously, because of everything that you went through. But this is Villanova basketball, the only program to win two titles in the last whatever it is, seven years now. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a little bit of pressure this year? I mean, I think as a competitor, um, you know, there's no pressure like the pressure you put on yourself. And for me, the pressure is just coming in every day and trying to be better and holding myself to certain standards. Um, you know, I, I think it's no different than, you know, you come off of a national championship or uh, you come off of uh, a great year. There's expectations that people put on you. Um, in, in those years, you say, all right, well, those are not we, we have our own set of expectations and we're going to do what we do and have our goals and, and try to live by that and try to get better each each day. I don't think it's any difference coming into this year. It's the same thing. 
Um, you know, we have our set of uh, expect our set of expectations. I have those for myself, um, and the pressure is getting that done each day, and then our, our destiny be uh, kind of revealed to us as we go. Well, I'm going to put some pressure on you now. I picked. <laughs> Listen, that didn't work. Uh, hum- that's not going to work. Humble out. and I uh, did a podcast yesterday, and we each picked five teams that we thought could win the national title. We agreed on four of them. Uh, was it Duke? Uh, Kansas, Michigan State, Purdue. My fifth was Villanova. Oh wow, appreciate that. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little pressure on you here. But I think again, I think you've got the pieces uh, with this team. Tell me why I'm right. Tell me why why. Hopefully, I'm gonna be right at the end of the day here. Well, you know, for us, um, again, we we just try to get as good as we can possibly get each day. Um, and I think coach that, speak. I was the quality say, that quality coach is, speak can, right there is a sophomore. <laughs> Look Listen, at this. I, I told you I'm growing. I'm growing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you but are. I, I He's think a over man through and through. You can yeah, see it right I, I think it's legitimate, though. Like, it, it's hard to, you know, begin. Uh, you, won't, you obviously want to have goals. Um, and, you know, you make those goals for yourself. And, yeah, everyone is starting the year wants to win a national championship. Of course. of course. That's obvious. Everyone wants to lead, win the league championship. You go into each game. You're not going to any game like, oh, we don't want to win this game. Every game you want to win, you want to win national championship, you want to play in the last game of the, the year, yep. right? Um, but how do you get there? And that's the important piece. And I think you get there by not focusing on that the entire year. You get there focusing on each day, um, each practice, each film session, um, each time you're having a conversation with your guys. And if you do your best each each one of those times, yeah. that gives you the best chance. As you look at this Big East, uh, the schedule that you have, right? You have Marquette brings eight guys back from a team that won the regular season to turn to the title. <laughs> UConn won the national title, brings back a couple key pieces. Creighton, preseason top 10 team. You okay. guys loaded. St. John's brings in a guy named Tatum, right? Ed Cooley heads to Georgetown. Kim English province. Is it is it tough? Like, are you excited about that? Yeah, I think uh, the Big East is as good as it's ever been. Um, yeah, I think we're back to the days of old when it was just like smash mouth. Uh, best conference in the country. I truly believe with the coaches we have in this league, the players we have in this league, the fact that the, the games are in the garden, the travel schedule, I think this is the best conference in college basketball.